Okay, welcome. Uh, for this video, we're showing a new train that we've been working on. And uh, here to present it. You might uh, recognize it already, a VT-98 uh, German Wilbus, or Siemenbus, uh, as the Germans uh, like to call it. It's a, a three-part uh, train uh, I built. Um, a engine car, a middle car, and a steering car, or a triebwagen, biwagen, and steuerwagen. Um, oh. Let's take a drive. Uh, first, open up the driver's desk. This is the cat animation tool, so uh, it's uh, X. Or well, uh, shift plus X. Then you can activate the cap. This will put all the controls in place. It's control F4. Now, let's see. Do we have a part yet? That one is being created. Signal is green. Time to go. Activate the engine. Let's go. For the purpose of uh, being able to run it in uh, Metro Simulator, uh, the Wilbus uh, has been fitted with the AFB system. There are not much controls except for the red dots uh, now from the system. Just uh, be aware that it's there and don't uh, enforce maximum speeds online. We also have a few passenger tools and the uh, usual buttons. Four, five, U6. And we have also a few animations built in that I will show you later. Almost reaching our destination of Zebrahaven. Slow down to 40 kilometers an hour. One thing to notice is that the handle in the middle, just below the speed display, is uh, not the traction handle. Uh, this is a uh, diesel mecha mechanical uh, transmission. So this is uh, the gearbox, say in effect. The, the traction handle uh, we have right here on the seat uh, of the driver. Now let's stop the train, open the doors. Uh, we'll leave the engine running, we'll be needing it for our way back. Uh, I'll shut off uh, the panel now and close it up. We, won't, won't, we don't want passengers uh, missing with the handles uh, while we are on the other side of the train. Uh, 
before we go back to the other sides, um, the seats must has, uh, must be changed so the passengers can sit in the direction of travel. Uh, in each of these cars, this is done from the cab two position. With a cab animation number two, that is control plus X. And we have to do that for each car. Um, the, yeah, this side, control X. And here, control X. Okay, we have three minutes before we have to head back. So that gives me some time to show you the other animations for, for this car, uh, just uh, open up the controls again, uh, we can also uh, activate that panel uh, already. And for the other animations. open door between this uh, baggage compartment and the passenger compartment. And from this side, you can of course switch over the benches again. You can open up the windows. And finally, We can open the door to the center theory uh, facilities. Uh, two minutes left. Let's uh, close our uh, service door again. One minute to go. See our departure time is 8.13, it's now about 8.12, let's use time acceleration for a bit uh, so we can get to the departure time faster. We have a green signal, so let's close the door. Let's go! Now, as this is uh, the Stoyer wagon, uh, the driver's uh, driver-only car, uh, we don't have an engine in this, so we are controlling the engine that's in the other end of the track. This is also why we don't hear as much uh, motor noises uh, when we're driving this car. Take a look from the level crossing. Thank <laughs> you. 
and we're arriving back at Zeeburg Central Station. Nice and time. Let's close up again. Oh. Time to change seats for the next voyage. Before we close off, let's watch the ECDX uh, coming in on track number three. 